Hello, I'm Paul Miller, senior photographer and writer with Bullseye.com. We are on location here in Cape Town, South Africa, on the set of Death Race 3. I have the pleasure of being with Robin Shu, who plays 14K. 14K. Robin, our readers have been wanting to know, you have been in all three Death Race uh, motion pictures. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us uh, the character development uh, from, say, the first movie up until now? Well, in the first movie, you just know who 14K is, really. Like, you know, he's graduated from MIT, top of his class, and of course he belongs to this notorious 14K triad gang, and that's pretty much it. And then, you know, and then you get to see him race. You know, and then they don't really touch on his character a lot because we're pretty much on our own. We all want to win, and we want to kill each other, and that's it. That was the story. Well, the, the first, you, you won. And, yeah. And, okay, in the first movie, you won. Exactly. But, but doesn't that mean you got to be free? No, exactly. So then that's why there's a second movie. Right. So in the second movie, I saved Frankenstein, Carl Lucas, mm -hmm. you know. And so right there, we sort of uh, established a connection, meaning there's some kind of co within me. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of what I believe, you know, I, I see something in Luke that I want to save him. So, I mean, actually, he saved me for some reason. He saved me. So once he saved me, then in my sort of triad code, I have to return a favor. So then at the end of the movie, I saved him. So right there in second, on the second movie, we have established a relationship between him and I. So then he's just not a killer or a prisoner or a thug, you know. This guy really has honor, a sense of honor. And in this movie, I have a love interest in this movie. So in the beginning of the movie, did you see the human side of Portugal? There we go. Okay. okay. But unfortunately, my love interest dies. So now he turns back into like this cold-blooded, sort of, uh, you know, just isolated killer. You know, and of course, you know, at the end, you know, 14K saves the day again. Saves the day. Saves the day. Seems like you have one of the best roles in the series. Well, exactly. I'm one of those characters that in the movie, and he doesn't do very much. He's just kind of be around, you know, he's just around. But at the end, he saves the day. All, so. right. All right. A lot of our readers know you from um, your hit Mortal Kombat. Right. Um, and martial arts seems to have a huge influence in your career. Tell me about the, your background in martial arts and how it applies and how helpful it is in, in your roles that you've been currently playing. Well, I studied a style called um, Chinese Wushu from China, and, and it's, you know, originally from China. And, and I remember how I got into martial arts was I remember seeing Jet Li in a movie called Shaolin Temple. And once I, and when I, well, first go back to the very beginning. I was raised in, a, in L.A. And growing up in America, you kind of like sort of lose your identity in mm -hmm. some ways because I'm just just plain old American kid. And I always feel something was missing. So one day I saw a movie uh, by Jet Li called Shaolin Temple and I saw Jet Li on screen doing martial arts. I go, wow, that is that is really cool. You know, I mean, that's Chinese martial art. I'm Chinese, I should be doing that. So that's how I got into um, Chinese Wushu. And then I've been studying that. I mean, I still practice it now. And, and it just, again, you know, for anyone who studies martial art, it just brings more than just like a skill of fighting or self-defense. It really center you. Right. And I guess um, it kind of apply in my industry because this industry is pretty brutal. It's pretty crazy. So with the martial arts, it really center me. And, and because I do martial arts and all my movies is martial arts related. I assume then it, uh, it helps in the physicality of your roles. Right. And, and the demands thereof, right? Well, I mean, I was fortunate to do Mortal Kombat. I mean, I think um, it, it's perfect. I mean, just that all the years of martial arts training paid right, off. Right, right, and of right, course, right. it wasn't it wasn't just because, you know, I, I, I love martial arts and that's why I did Mortal Kombat. You know, it's just that because, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a fanatic martial arts freak. And then uh, Mortal Kombat happens and then I happen to be in Mortal Kombat. All right, well, that's, that's excellent timing. Well. Uh, now, you get to uh, drive one of these vehicles. What vehicle do you get to drive? Well, I get to drive that little pointy little sort of... Well, the first movie, I drive a Porsche. Right. 911. Right. And this one is more of a sort of souped-up Porsche, except mm -hmm. everything is more sort of angular and aer uh, more uh, aerodynamics. And then there's the same thing, grenade launchers and guiding missiles and machine guns and, and it's I think I have the hottest car. You think you got the hottest one? I, I you know, wh I why is hottest... that? I mean you've seen the other vehicles. Why do you think you have the hottest Well because car? I think um, I'm the coolest character. There we go. <laughs> All right well on that note good luck to you. Thank, Thank you very you. much for the interview. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.